everybody. Welcome to another episode of On the Painting Table. Uh, this is my weekly show about what I've been working on, the models I've been doing, and sort of the projects that are ongoing for me at the co-op. You can kind of see some sneak peeks into the new things I'll be doing, uh, models I'll be bringing out, and games I might be playing in the future. Now, this will be the first episode that's actually going to come out on a Saturday, and there's a reason for that. Um, I decided that Widgets and Wonders and On the Painting Table, instead of being just shows that I like add on to a day of the week, I'm actually going to be my weekend shows. So they're going to come out um, Saturday for where the... Uh, the on the paint table stuff and which is wonders will be a Sunday show so it'll be just be a thing that comes up on the weekend and that lets me do seven days a week of programming so Monday through Friday get battle reports and then Saturday and Sunday you will get um, additional sort of like just what's going on with me on the weekend kind of stuff quick videos that people can watch while they're doing their I don't know New Yorker crossword puzzle and reading Saturday morning cartoons while eating cereal do people still do that I guess this is their version of that now in this day and age god I'm old um, so let's take a look at what I'm working on I'm also going to be sort of showing off uh, a cool behind the scenes project I've been working on for a little while, so you guys can check out that and check out the upcoming stuff that'll be sort of attached to that too. So let's take a look at what's been on the painting table this week. So here's the first batch of stuff I got done this week. A lot of this was stuff I wanted to get off my painting desk that I assembled and gotten sort of like ready to paint a while ago, and some stuff's new. So like these guys right here, this is my Sign of Black Blood, Angel Eyes, and two Blood Wretches from the new starter set for Malifaux. Um, I just had some like crazy time vampire -y stuff happen that uh, kept me from getting them finished. And they sort of sat assembled and base coated on my paint station for a couple weeks. And I had a night where I wasn't doing anything except for assembling other models. And I was waiting for all of their like bits and pieces to dry. Um, so I just kind of cranked them out and got them finished. I really like these models. I'm excited to try them out. I'm gonna try them out this weekend actually on Sunday. Uh, JP's coming down to play some games. That'll be tomorrow when you see this video. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll get to give them a go. Um, and actually we're playing some Frostgrave too. And I added to our bad guy pool for Frostgrave. I painted some Wraiths. They're both scenario monsters and also monsters for um, uh, just like my random table because I've expanded the table of monsters that can show up. I got a bear because you got to have a bear. Look at how adorable he is. Big bear. I don't know where the bear is from. I think it's Reaper or maybe Ralpartha. The um, wraiths are old woes from Malifaux, metal woes. And then I have more armored skeletons. Again, these are scenario models for some Thaw the Lich Lord stuff I'm working on and some ghouls. These are mantic ghouls. They're just base code, not done yet. Um, but they're kind of next up on the monster chart to get finished. So there's what I've been working on. Sort of the standard stuff you guys have been seeing for a series that you already know about. Let's look at my top secret project. Ba-boom! Wow, I didn't want to show you guys this until um, uh, it was well underway. Because this has been something I worked on for a long time, actually. This is an army I started ages ago and finally actually put together. And it's my pre-heresy Alpha Legion. Now, we've been talking about this for a while. I like 40k. Um, but I like a lot more narrative and craziness in my games, and so one of the things we've been talking about doing is in the co-op and with the new box that coming in a couple weeks, I finished a good, good time to finish this stuff off, um, is doing some 30k narrative gaming. And it's actually gaming that's got Owen excited, because he's a huge narrative player and he loves the 30k stuff, so we will have um, me playing Alpha Legion. It made sense, girl miniature games, the insurrectionist, the girl of fighters. Uh, hitting you from who knows where and who knows how. Uh, and this is an army I started like four or five years ago. This is 100% Forge World. Now this is the new stuff. Um, but I'm working on my Contemptor Talon. Um, I hand painted all the symbols and stuff too because actually the pre-orders just went up for the new symbols today. But I really like the original A with a chain across it, Alpha Legion symbol. Um, and yeah, so I've got a double maniple. One's got a heavy flamer, the one's got a plasma blaster. They both have twin like las cannons. Um, I'll use the new plastic Contemptor as the unit leader probably for this Talon. This is a uh, veteran tactical squad. It's got a missile launcher, um, a special weapon, and then a sergeant with artificer armor and a power fist right there. And I might use them as seekers too. Who knows? Because like the Alpha Legion used seekers almost uh, like they were like the first ones to do it. And that would mean I can get special ammunition and stuff too. But I can also give them sniper if they're veteran tacticals. Uh, and that made sense for them to be in Mark II armor. So I wanted them to be in older Mark armor because veterans, right? They've been around. They've been fighting forever. Um, and you can see the little symbols and stuff too that I paint on the little Alpha Legion symbols. And then I have my Tartarus Pattern Terminators. Now, <laughs> this will bother some people, and it actually bothered me after I painted them. Um, but these are actually the post-Heresy miniatures, so they have the Crux Terminatus, which actually wouldn't exist until after the Emperor is on his Golden Throne, because every one of them would contain a shard of the Emperor's armor. Um, but that means that I can use this army both pre- and sort of post-Heresy. These could be like my loyalist... Alpha Legion, because who knows what side they're on, that have decided they love the Emperor and want to wear some Crux Terminatuses as well. But I love the Tartarus Terminators, and I'll be getting the um, Cataphracti Terminators in the new box set, so I figured I would like to paint these too. So I got one with the Heavy Flamer Chain Fist, one with the Chain Fist and Kami Bolter, um, and then three with just Kami Bolters, including the Sergeant there with his special weapon. Um, and that's uh, sort of what's painted so far. Now I also have um, 
the another tactical squads in Mark IV stuff, like just tons of other bits and pieces, limited edition stuff. Like I have a ton of Alpha Legion stuff. It's just not even built yet. Vehicles, monsters, all kinds of things. Um, but only big stuff. I'm actually not like planning on doing a ton of the big stuff. I don't think uh, right away. I wanted to do all the infantry and stuff too because I have another special project secret thing that you guys will see soon. Should be showing up next week. Um, that these guys are going to be part of a campaign for. So stay tuned to that. I'll be talking about the rules for the campaign. And if you guys do start playing 30k with the new box game, obviously the board game, it's basically a battle force that comes with a free board game. So I expect lots of people are going to be excited about 30k gaming. And the Alpha Legion made tons of sense because no matter who I play, who knows what side I'm on. So narratively, the games will always make sense because the Alpha Legion. Um, um, are, you know, men without masters. Who knows who they're fighting for? So there's that. Hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek into the future project. Uh, there's going to be some merchandise to go with it too. Uh, and you guys can see that merchandise actually by clicking the link in the video description. Uh, I'm doing a new t-shirt to celebrate the 30k stuff that's coming out um, and celebrate girl miniature games. And just the fact that these, I think these guys are the best representation of that sort of mentality in 40k and or 30k. So they are. Uh, let's, uh, you know, hopefully add to it relatively soon with that box game because I think that box game is super cool and I'm excited to build more guys. So there you go on the painting table for this week. I hope you enjoyed a look at what I've been working on, some projects coming up, um, and some miniatures that I've been painting. Had a lot of fun painting all this new stuff. I'll be honest, I love painting Space Marines and I really got back in the groove of painting Space Marines um, just recently. So you might see me doing a lot of painting Space Marines in the coming future. Uh, maybe some allies too. I've been wanting to dabble in some Mechanicum stuff, doing a robot maniple or something like that. The Age of Darkness Force Organization chart um, does allow for an allied detachment. The only problem playing Alpha Legion is nobody trusts you. You literally have nobody who's like a sworn brother across the entire thing. I think the best you get is like distrustful allies because <laughs> they all think you're up to no good and that you are fighting for another master, which is probably true. Um, and yeah, so tell me what you think uh, in the description or in the video, sorry, the video comments uh, in the, the comment boxes below down there. And if you want to go and check out uh, the I Am Alpha uh, We Are Legion t-shirt, there'll be a link to my Spreadshirt store too. Um, and you can get a Girl Miniature Games 30K theme sort of t-shirt. No copyright sort of challenging implied. Um, it's just a little fun thing I wanted to do to celebrate the fact that we're gonna be doing some new sort of like content streaming on the channel. Um, got my mouth stuff coming up too in Frostgrave, which has been a lot of fun. Really enjoying playing the Thought of Lich Lord games um, and uh, getting ready for that series, which you'll see on all three of the co-op sort of like members channels. That will be on my channel, on Mike from Mark Duck Studios channel and on Owen from Game with the Coolest channel. That little four part series, which will be nine, 10 games total, 12 filmed, episodes uh, you should see going up in November. So uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you for more on the painting table next week. Until then, I'm Ash. Have fun.